that's the DI sound of this Les Paul. Um, and you saw earlier that uh, Logic comes with lots of channel strip settings with all sorts of sounds. Um, and this is the, the menu from the channel strip, but you can also get there in the library. So I can just flip in here. Let me zoom in a bit. You guys might be able to see this. I'll just go for this guitar tone sampler. Lots of presets. Let's try this one. Ooh, I just held down the wrong key. Um, that has loaded in a channel strip with uh, amp designer, EQ, and a compressor. <laughs> these amps, the guitar players amongst you will know, it does clean up when you play gently. Let's try some other presets here. How about double in delay? sounds you could be here for a long long time let me uh, bypass all of this lot and concentrate on amp designer um, so lots of presets for the basic amps let's make a start here a small tweed and it's laid out with uh, gain tone controls and um, if you're a guitar player, you know that part of the sound is about having the whole thing turned up. I can turn up the gain here, and it does start to get a bit... And the crucial bit is you can get power stage overdrive at this end. And it does clean up. controls. It's just like a real guitar amp. Um, let's try a couple of others. Let's go straight for uh, you know the large tweed or the large black bass, the Fender amps. <laughs> Classic British Bright. So we can start customizing this. This is a British type EQ. Different character altogether. The reverb. I'll turn lots up so you can hear it. It even clanks like a real spring reverb. Uh, all sorts of uh, possibilities here. Let's turn that off. Um, we've got an effects section. Not all of these amps do have tremolo, but in the modeling here, not, I mean the real amps, we do have tremolo. Crucially, you can sync it to the tempo in Logic, so that everything's tempo locked, which is really nice, because it used to take ages, you were nodding your head, sir, just to get it just right, and then the band would speed up a little bit, yeah? Turn this down a shade here. Um, we can mix and match the cabinets. So here, we've got just the speaker cabs. Oh, beg your pardon, wrong side. Here's the cab. If we want to put this through a vintage Marshall cab, here it is. Turn the gain up, turn 
turn the master up. We can move where the microphone goes to get these off-axis sounds. distracted. Um, I'm just going to shuffle the pedals. Uh, you can move the order of plugins in the channel strip so you do have the possibility of putting the guitar amp through the pedals which is an interesting concept. Um, let's take a look at the pedal board. So, uh, lots of presets again. Um, I should show you this. Look, here's all the stomp boxes, all nicely laid out. If you leave the pointer here long enough, you'll get a little help tag telling you what it does, so that you get a clue. Phase tripper, we can spend ages guessing what these are modelled after. Um, I'll just reset this channel strip and start again. Uh, sorry, not channel strip, the stomp box. So, I want a, an overdrive pedal. Literally, just drag it in and maybe turn the output up a bit and a little switch to switch it on and off now yeah, let's say I want a chorus I'll try this one Ah. and maybe I want to put the chorus before the overdrive Maybe I need uh, a delay or a tremolo effect or, a, or even this Leslie speaker sim. Those, uh... 